This is the Lockpicking Lawyer, and what I have for you today is a driver's side door lock from a 2013 Mercedes S-Class sedan. Like most newer cars, at this price point, it's fairly unlikely this lock was used often, given the prevalence of keyless entry and ignition. This key would have been hidden inside the fob and only used in emergencies. Now, while this was fitted to a rather expensive car, there's nothing particularly special about it. It's a wafer lock with 10 serrated wafers inside, which is pretty standard for modern cars. So our opening method is going to look familiar. The appropriate leashy tool for these Mercedes models is the HU64, which I do sell over on CovertInstruments.com. So let's get this lock in a vise and see what it takes to get it open. Okay, let's insert our leashy tool, flip out the tensioning lever, and we can start picking. We'll start on the odd numbered wafers, little click on one, nothing on three, five is binding very tightly, and it's still binding after one click, there we go, little click on seven, Nine is binding, click there, still binding. There we go, nine feels like it could be set. Click out of seven, let's see, no, I think, there we go, I thought seven felt like it might be a little tight. Five, three, one. Okay, let's try the even numbered wafers now. Nothing on two. Four is binding, nice click there. Six is binding, six is still binding. There we go, six could be set. Eight is binding, eight feels set. And there is no number 10 wafer in there. Two, there we go, click out of two. Nothing on four, six. Eight drop down, and we got this open. Okay, folks, obviously, when you have the right tools, locks like this are not much of a challenge. You'd think they'd use something a cut above on such an expensive car, but obviously, they chose not to. In any case, that's all I have for you today. If you do have any questions or comments about this, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.